Piss poor. Ooh, a lot of splatter. Got it on the control board. It's all right. How you feeling over there, Jay Wayne? What is good? <laughs> Let's go. How you feeling? We got some brand new Revelry Seltzers here. Trio. It's a collab. Oh, that was why you got a live on air first taste right there. Decent. Decent. <laughs> Just berry. Berry is the flavor. It was not too sweet. It isn't too sweet. It's got it's, uh, it's called berry because it's got a lot of berries all encompassing the berries. There's a lot of there's berries a, all over your palate. There's a ton of fruit in there. A lot of berries. Couldn't decide what to put no. on the photo shoot. How Which could you? berries to put? We went with Raz Just and Bill black. Hader. Just go with Bill Hader. We went with Raz and Black. Black and Raz. Bill Hader, strong, strong actor. Yeah, Barry. Betty. Yeah, we got season three filming. Is it? Yeah. Stash oh, yeah. House. I like the way they say st Stash House. <laughs> you need to get Stash House. If you haven't seen Barry, check it out. All right, so bipodding, no big co. Brad's in the back. What's Be good? Red. Jay Wayne's over here. I am C Myers on the Twitters at Jay Wayne's World at the FF Dynasty for the show. You ready to get into it today? What are, what are we going to talk about? We got a couple things. Tua Tagovailoa. Tua, baby. He's toast. Yeah. He so sucks, right? It's just a very odd situation that's seemingly very quickly on the public perception all over the place. It's gone from like tank for Tua to like mm -hmm. when's trash day? Because we don't want this trash to, you know, we're waiting to throw this in there so that it doesn't stink and we don't have to like <laughs> rinse the trash can out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you got that thing in the fridge where you're like, it's just some old salmon. You're like, mm. where where it's like. It's so bad you don't even keep the Tupperware. You just throw the yeah, whole just, thing we away. We got to just get rid of all this. Yeah, just yeah, as soon as possible. It's yeah. stinking up the joint. Which is just, it's mind-boggling to me. Yeah. And I'm not here to, like, defend necessarily to him and be like, oh, he's going to be the next great thing and he's elite. But, like, we don't even know yet. Like, we don't know. He's like, he's played 11 games total. Right. And no rookie offseason season. Major then, injury that he probably shouldn't even play the eight games last right. year. Right, I don't both. even like it was a big thing. Why like everybody was everybody wants the rookies to play now, but nobody wanted Tua to play because they were rolling and it was weird. So I don't know really know why you did it. And he clearly wasn't quite ready last year and looked a little sluggish. And it's like came off a crazy injury. Like let my man get right, and then comes into this year with an off season and and plays a game and then gets hurt again, which was a bummer. Like a rib injury is not an injury prone injury kind of deal here. That's a bummer. Uh, comes back. Maybe the best thing that could have happened to show you that this team was Fugazi coming into last year, having that, that nice run that they had. I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't know if Flores has lost the locker room, which there is some suggestion of that possibly. Really? I thought um, he was like had the locker room. I, I've just read a, a couple of little things via Twitter that maybe Flores is, you know, lost over there a little bit. And, and you know, maybe maybe there's a problem. Maybe two is... I don't know. Maybe there's a, a a weird locker room dynamic with two. I have no idea. But like now, two is back in over these last two games. And you know, granted, they've played the Jaguars in Atlanta over the last two games. But he's been the QB three since coming back over two games, averaging twenty five point four five points per game. If you Stats. according to Fantasy Pros, that's a hundred percent facts and all five. Facts. Um, you know, <laughs> obviously, again, played the Jags played the Falcons you know not the best uh great matchups defense good matchups for you but l looked pretty decent was playing professional level football in these couple of games we'll see how it moves forward but he's barely had a chance here and and you guys is just ready to throw him in the trash and it just doesn't really make all that much sense to me like well if they'd have won the game against the Falcons which he put them up with like two minutes to go right what, they could have won the Jacksonville game as well he made some he made two bad throws that were picks Two really bad throws that ended up being picks. One, one, yeah, the one was pretty bad right off a of turnover. Not really sure what in, was going on there. And what, in the end zone, the, you know, the end zone one, you know, well, whatever. I mean, shit happens, but yeah, maybe he didn't quite see that. I don't really know, but the the, the one right off the turnover 
uh, that he gave it right back to the Falcons. That one wasn't great. But but other than that, was making some good throws. Right. Pl- had played a good game. It's played, put put them in two position to win. And I don't think game one was bad. I, we didn't go back and watch that one, but we watched the last two. And Well, that was the only game they won this year, yeah. so had to have been decent. Right. Um, and, and you talked about the team and, and just – him not playing showed what a dumpster fire this team is. Like right. he's not getting any help. The O line, according to pro, uh, let's see, according to Football Outsiders, they rank twentieth in pass protection. They're twenty third in sacks, giving up seventeen. Four out of five of their starters have less than three years' experience. Yeah, bingo. A lot of a lot of inexperience and young. They're trying to remake that offensive line and make it into a good unit, and maybe it's not quite there yet. Young group of dudes. Um, he, it's, it looked like he was facing a good amount of pressure in that game. The defense has been atrocious. They've given up the most total yards in the NFL and the second most points. So you're not going to win with that. Uh, you're certainly not going to win when your team is 28th in rushing attempts, 29th in rushing yards, and third in passing attempts. That's not a recipe for success. They're getting yeah. very little help in the running game. They have a Maybe long run. Maybe if you're run. the Chiefs or the Bills in previous years that around those ratios can work, but you got to be pretty special. Not working out for the Chiefs now, not being able no. to run the ball. Uh, and they're getting very little explosive plays. Their longest run has gone for 24 yards. Not being able to and not willing to are two different things. Fair, fair. Um, so, you know, he, he despite all that, and then on top of that, the wide receivers have dropped the second most passes in the league. So yeah, it, and they've had, again, they've had health issues there. They, they've tried to give him not a, a single amount time of weapons. Have they had all those guys on the field? Right. Not exactly. one time. Tried to bring in Fuller. There's some weird off-the-field stuff going on, and then he comes back, and then he's hurt, and then Devontae Parker's hurt, and Jalen Waddell's a rookie. Um, but and Jalen Waddell's you know, been the only but, steady but, thing there for those been guys. good, and... Preston Williams coming off an injury. He's been he's been in and out of the lineup. They're relying on guys like Mac Hollins and, and Gasecki, who's, right. who's been great this year. Uh, he's in the contract year, I believe. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, so like Parker's played the first four games and then was out the next three. Fuller, I think, has played one game. Uh, Preston Williams has two games with well three games, but two of them were very limited snaps. And Waddle's and, been nicked up in some of those games, in and out with a fair. little ankle action. But still playing all the games, but yeah, I mean they just their their cast of characters are not together. The offensive line's playing bad. The defense is giving up the most of anything, and despite that, I mean Tua's still playing pretty well. Like he's sixth in completion percentage, sixty nine point five percent. He's third in red zone completion percentage, eleventh in touchdown rate, five point nine percent. That's touchdowns per touch. Um, he has thrown the eighth most interceptable balls of quarterbacks this year, so that's not a great stat. And 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 two of them on uh, well it's, Sunday got picked. Well, I was going to say when you want to you you know you got to give out the good stats, but then you know you go back and say well he did, he's basically only played three games, but he's a fucking rookie. Two of them against uh, good point. Like he essentially is basically a rookie, and is it right. is it excusable? Not really, but like is he playing better than most of the rookie quarterbacks this year? For sure. For sure, hundred percent. Um, is he is he Joe Burrow or Justin Herbert? Probably not. Uh, but is can it, can he still be a really good quarterback in the league? I, I think so. I'm not re- well ready to stand behind him and be like, yeah, absolutely, this guy's going to be awesome. But he's not throw him in the dumpster. Bad. Let's move on. Let's pull the hats off to the Cardinals for being like, hey, we're moving on on Frozen and getting Kyler Murray. But that doesn't excuse the rest of the league to just be like, hey, you know, you only get you know one year and we know it's not going to work and he's bad and it's like. Give my man a chance here. Right, like he's making good reads. He he can get off that first read. He's he's accurate and throws with anticipation, and 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 they say he's a guy that they can gravitate towards in the locker room. And and I mean, just think about we haven't even brought up you know the trade rumors and Deshaun Watson. Right. I mean, that's, well, that's got to do that's, something that's, to your fucking psyche, right? That, and that's something that I don't think any any casual fan or anybody wants to put anything on it's just like oh they get they get paid millions of dollars like shut up and it's like like man just think about how you operate and where you're at and like it's regardless of how much money you are and what level you're at like that's got to be just it's kind like first of all it seems like the dolphins just don't even want you like right. they don't even want you like i'm here giving you everything i got i think I think that's what he's doing. I think he doesn't seem like a, a not in kind Mm-mm. of guy. Um, and and every day it's it's well they need Deshaun Watson and and 
fuck. Almost, Almost every, every team, team in the needs league Deshaun Watson. Should be trying to figure out with Deshaun Watson and like what the situation is and, and let's how can we fucking get him. But maybe just do it a little bit more discreetly. And Brian Flores right. has, has kind of said every time around that, you know, hey, the, he's our quarterback and I'm not going to answer any of these questions and yada, 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 which he should. Gotta. But like, fuck, what kind of mental game is that playing with you week in week out to just not know you don't you don't have the confidence of the organization behind you that they're so hasty to just get rid of you right and, and this and trade not, deadline and, and, is looming and, right and the talks are heating up and rumors are flying and i just I, I can't imagine what it's like in miami and how much bullshit he's hearing seeing every time he opens his phone looks around it's just you know, when's Tua getting traded? How, how are we getting rid of Tua? Where's Tua going to end up? And it's like, guy, man, just got here. Barely had any chance to start. It's just fucked up. Like, it's a tough spot to be in for him. He hadn't really heard a peep out of him. He doesn't seem like that kind of guy. He seems mm-hmm. like he's a fairly professional human. But maybe, maybe that's the part that we're missing. Maybe he isn't. Maybe he is not 100% all in. And maybe there is a little. Maybe he's not the best locker room guy. I don't know. Doesn't seem like that. But maybe maybe that's a little tidbit of something that we're missing here. Uh, but it, I haven't really seen it anywhere. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel like that to me. But I mean, I'm not watching post game interviews and all that with the Dolphins per se. Uh, is yeah, is I don't there even any- know that would be a post game. That's more just like or or like Drama yeah i mean like of, beat writers right. and, and and following everything on twitter and and seeing you know i i don't know you were saying something about brian flores might have not but, have the locker room yeah there's there's some if you if you do a little googling and such you can find some twitter stuff about how you know maybe some people on the inside have kind of leaked out that maybe brian flores doesn't quite have the locker room hmm. uh, like maybe he he once did it's like came from twitters Never know what to believe on Twitters, you know. It was it was some some beat writer check marky gossipy kind of stuff. Doesn't Twitter want like Kyle Shanahan fired? So it's just like yeah, you lose we, credibility. Twitter, I can't, when you I can't get do into that. Like it, that. It wasn't like on that level. of, yeah. of like this is fanhood right. talking. It's it was more like these you know there's some people in there saying but maybe, Niner Twitter. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into that right now. We don't have time for <laughs> that. How but, much time you got, buddy? Not enough. Yeah. Um, but, you know, putting a little fantasy spin on it, like I, I don't necessarily, I'm not saying that, hey, absolutely go out and trade for Tua, but I, I think that if, the, again, if people are going to be impatient and the, the court of public opinion is is going to be down on this guy, if there's some room for some value there, then I'm always interested in trying to trade for him in a super flex league, in a regular QB1 league, then... Obviously, you know, it's pretty irrelevant outside of the QB top leagues, big but. time guys. You know, I'm not trying to trade for any quarterback. Right. I, I know. I think you have it down here at some point. But like I, I, I've thought like, you know, for a guy like Jalen Hurts, who is absolutely slaying at fantasy points wise, but we don't know if he's necessarily long for playing in the league. I don't think two is right on the cusp of saying, hey, he's not going to play necessarily a starting quarterback in this league. I think regardless of somebody else if, if they do trade for Deshaun somebody else is going to give him a shot right um he's not done after and I'm not year. saying that that Jalen Hurts is necessarily done either he just hasn't quite looked like a professional quarterback whereas Tua has in a very limited amount of time looked like you know had spurts of looking you know pretty solid here um so maybe that would be a super flex trade that you would want to make you might you probably might be able to get some value on the other side I think some Squeeze people a little are, are bit probably extra. also kind of hip to the fact that, hey, you know, maybe I, I might be, you know, not getting not uh, not going to have Jalen Hurts for too long. So I, I don't ride know. This out. I don't know that the average. I mean, I guess that the dynasty player ought to know that, but I don't even know. I mean, you look at the stat line and you see some trades that go down with Hurts involved and they're like, you're trading for those fantasy points right now. Which I'm not going to begrudge you for at all. But like, I don't crushing know. crushing at fantasy points. You have to, right, but you have to do but that. But so is Tua. You have to do that. <laughs> you have to do that knowing that this is your year you're making a push and, and you're going to, you're risking the future. And, and I think that a lot of times dynasty players don't care at all about risking the future. Like, they're not, like you have the extreme guys who draft all the rookies, and then then you have guys that will trade good players who aren't producing but are good, better long term dynasty assets for a guy who's producing right now but isn't going to be there around long enough. And like that's, right. I mean, 
that's my main mission on like our Discord channel uh, over on uh, patreon.com slash EFF Dynasty um, is just keeping our guys from making trades like that. Like, don't. Reactionary stuff. Right. But, if, you know, I'm a, if you if you, if you got to. Give me Tua over Hertz. Let me, yeah, I'll, tr- I'll turn I, I, I Tua, would, turn would, Hertz into Tua. I would do that as well. Um, you know, obviously, if, if Hertz is your QB2 right now and you're just slaying at fantasy points wise you know it, it might be tough to trade him out of that lineup but if you're if you're not a winning team um then either way i could see you trying to upgrade that spot and just not have a dead asset on your roster and i'm not saying that jalen hurts won't get another shot and maybe he deserves another shot it's just it's been a little too much times of watching him of being like damn like he's we talked we've talked about it already mm-hmm. like you know there's some guys open and he's missing some stuff and and um you know, maybe it's maybe it's unfair that we're giving Tua some love and and hating on Hurts for not being ready to roll and being great. And, yeah, and, but and like not I mean, a lot of time. But if we're talking redraft fantasy, yeah, okay, I'm wrong. I, I I'll just, take Hurts. Right. But but we're talking dynasty and 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 Tua I is out there development for the quarterback. But uh, but Tua is showing like the anticipation and the mm-hmm. accuracy that you need to be a professional NFL quarterback. Right. Hurts is getting by on the ground. Right. And seemingly maybe getting worse. And maybe the coach, there's a lot of factors. Maybe the coaching staff and all that other stuff isn't quite helping him. But it seems like Hertz is not getting better, maybe even getting a little worse and more anxious and more even quicker to one read and move and all that kind of stuff. Where, right. You know, you just, it's, it's that second read. I don't know that Hertz can make it in, and to a can. Decision making, staying in the pocket, moving around. All that kind of stuff. So, and you saw Tua take off a little bit. He's more athletic than he's but given credit for. I I thought that was somebody that you know maybe you could flip and maybe even get a little more value on the right on the Tua side. Tua plus for Hertz. What about Fields? Would you trade Tua? Would you trade Fields for Tua? Uh, probably too soon. I'm probably hanging on to Fields. Yeah. For, for a little while longer, just because of the rushing upside. You know, Jalen Hurts. He, Fields is going to get afforded more opportunity than Hurts will. Uh, although it hasn't looked very good for Fields at all, this is the reason why not not only the rookie on probably the shouldn't field, have been playing, but on the sideline. Yeah, a lot of negative body man's language over there, just, there from Fields, looking defeated, just um, disengaged. Body language is a lot, man. If right. you read any type of like psychology books and stuff, like body language is a big tell. I'm, I'm not out on Fields yet. I, I want to see the. I want to see him be able to get a little bit of the game rolling so that he can u- start using the legs like he needs to use them um, to be a good fantasy asset for you. And and the play calling and uh, coaching staff probably isn't helping him out much at all. No, I think they're trying to keep it pretty close to the vest. Um, I think they should just be playing Andy Dalton. But you, you made, right, you made the swap Why already. You, you can't complain. Can't Dalton. put my man. You can't put the genie back in the bag. There you can't so. put the genie in the bottle. You made that reference to Lance. I don't know if it yeah. applies to Fields. Yeah, I mean it certainly does. You can't. can't. But but Nagy won't have a job next year if he keeps playing Fields. I, I don't, don't. I don't think. I, don't, I think. Dalton was his chance to keep his job. Yeah, I don't know. Nagy's back to coordinating. Yeah. Because he started Fields. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Some people are coordinator facing me. He should, probably should just be... But if he had just stuck with Dalton... Man, yeah, it probably didn't, probably didn't matter. Probably didn't matter. Him, him and Pace are probably both uh, not long for the GM, that is. Probably not long for uh, staying around. Yeah, would you give up a first for Tua? And super flex. I would try really hard not to. Not that I don't think he's not worth it. Like if it was a later first, like I think maybe he could be, but I would really, really try hard not to give up the first to acquire Tua. I think I, I feel think like he's worth it. I think he's he's just I, yeah, as I, good I, I, of a gamble as any of the rookie quarterbacks now or the rookies that are gonna come out next well, year. Granted, I don't know a ton about him, but Yeah, any any of those It's not a touted quarterback class. The fields I know that. and the the fields and the and the lances with the with the ru- with the big rushing upside you know, give give me the lean over there. And That's fair. I would take two over Fields. I'm not okay. bailing on Lance, but I would take him over Fields. What about if you had Aaron Rodgers and you were you were you were an aging team, you needed to move Aaron Rodgers? Is is enough? Tua in a first. I saw that trade go down on the trade analyzer. I mean, trade finder. I, mean I don't know. I, I think Rodgers could play for three more years if he wants to, and. If that's the case, then I want I want Rodgers for three more years. But I mean, two and a first? No, probably not. I mean, 
it's probably not the worst move if you're if your team's aging and you want to and you want to rebuild a little bit. In the off season, ADP Tua was going ahead of Rogers in the startup. Yeah, I mean, but that was probably not knowing if Rogers was going to even play. Right. So, so actually, no, I think that was October ADP. In yeah, fact. I mean, Rogers is going to if Rogers is playing, he's going to be a good starter for you for for a couple of years. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's the worst move if you're if you're trying to move in a younger rebuilding direction there. But, yeah, two and a first, maybe you could take take that and turn that into another quarterback that you like more or that maybe feels a little bit more elite. But maybe you take the first and something else, and you get two as your third quarterback, and and you have you, you find another quarterback. So, all right. Well, I think that pretty much does it. Yeah, be sure to subscribe. Else? I mean, oh, yeah, about we'll to do, subby. there's another there's another player on this Dolphins team that you should probably be buying right now. I don't know who is it. I don't know. Subscribe to find out. It's, it's Jalen Waddle. <laughs> hey, and hit that Thrive Fantasy.com. Download the app on the Play Store or Apple Store. Use the promo code the FFD. They'll match you up to a hundred bucks. Free monies. Get your prop bets on. All right. We appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time. Peace.